Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Rob Ronan here again, and today we're talking combos with Zenitsu from the Entertainment District. And this version of Zenitsu, or compared to other characters, doesn't really do big damage, but he deals a lot of damage by dealing damage frequently. <laughs> that I said a damage a lot of times, but I think that makes sense. Like, he doesn't do big cash-out amounts of damage, but he lands hits so often, so many little hits, that they end up, like, ca um, adding up really, really quickly, and... People, people die real quick against this character because he's able to just land so many little hits and even though they're often red combos, they are just what he needs to whittle down the opponent's life really, really effectively. So let's quickly talk about what they are. And because the red combos are the, kind of the most important part of his playstyle, we'll talk about them first. So most of the red combos you are going to get are probably going to be off of Thunder, Claps, and Flash. Now you can combo Thunder, Clap, and Flash into your standing special. So Tilt Special into Regular Special will combo. And then you have a few different combo enders you have. First one is Dash Cancelling into a Grab. I like to do this one because it lets you get a hard knockdown to build back a bunch of meter. And you left close to the opponent so you can go for some Oki with your Tilt Attack in the air. Or just your um like a jump away into this and if the opponent tries to do anything you'll punish them for it. Another ender you have is, you can just do a full attack string into your Thunderclap and Flash again, and this version of Thunderclap and Flash actually leads to a long hard knockdown from a distance, so the opponent can't wake up and mash buttons on you. You can actually stand here pretty safely and build back all of your meter if you want to get a little bit of a safer meter rebuild. And it's more guaranteed, whereas the throw can be um, stuffed. Um, if you're wanting to go for damage. You can go for your full attack string into a lightning burst, but I don't really recommend this. It does do a bit more damage, but I think it's better going for the utility of a grab or a thunderclap and flash for the hard knockdown. The grab will do more damage though, because it is resets the damage with the grab, obviously. Um, and all of these combos work off of basically any of his red combo starters. So you can get a nice hard knockdown, you can get a reset into a grab, uh, Anything you want, it'll make sure you have enough meter to keep going for your ridiculous stuff, because if you watch my guide for Zenitsu, he does need meter because he can do awesome stuff, like he can keep this safe by dash cancelling it, and he just has a lot of really cool things he can do. He's got good pressure, he's just a really strong character, so you just want to make sure you're ending in hard knockdowns as often as you can, just to make sure you're able to keep doing stuff. And, um, yeah, so those are his um, combos off of red combos. If you're getting a yellow combo, he's pretty free from, but he's not going to do too much damage. So I recommend you just try and hit confirm. And if you happen to hit confirm into a lightning burst, you can dash cancel it. A few hits, thunderclap and flash into your DP, and dash up again, and do stuff like this. You get a free dash up from your DP, just like regular Zenitsu, which is really great, because you get to do, um your aerial attack string at any point in your combos to get a nice hard knockdown at the end of any point in your combo, which is really, really good. Or if you want to keep your combo a little bit cheaper, you can just, you know, instantly hit confirm into your DP, and you can either do an expensive kind of route like this, or just get a hard knockdown, or just do regular attacks afterwards. You don't want to spend too much meter so that you have enough meter afterwards to go for this stuff. Because, you know, everything he does basically costs two bars or three bars. So you want to make sure you have stuff left over after you do a combo. So don't spend too much. Um, if you didn't know, he's actually one of the only characters in the game, along with Yahaba, who can actually combo into and out of his burst, which is his boost. Which I think is a really, really cool skill and something that I don't see people doing enough because it's so powerful. So say I'm really low on meter, which is probably really common with this character. I can actually do a few hits, go into my Thunderclap and Flash, go into a boost, and combo out of it. I was a little bit slow there, um, but it is something he can do super, super easily. So, do, 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 and then dash in, and I get to combo the opponent with my fresh new set of meter that I just got from my boost, on my burst, which is really, really, really crazy. And that has so many aspects as to why this can be useful, whether you just want to be an absolute prick, and maybe I've maybe I've spent all of my Inosuke and I need my sidekick gauge back because I've broken a combo or something. I can just be super crazy and just do like get all of my meter back in the middle of my combo, get all of it back for free, 
and just go right back into my crazy stuff. I don't have to have any time where I blast the opponent away with my boost, have them launched away and we get set back into neutral. Now I can boost in my combo and keep my offense up. And as you saw, that simple sequence I just did there did well over half of Sabido's life. But I think the main strength of this, as, as I mentioned, being able to um, get a lot of meter back in the middle of your combos. So you're like, oh damn, I can't really have much to combo, but I can boost. I can do that in the middle of my combo and... I don't know why I chose that really weird combo path, but then you have all of the meter to use in the rest of your combo. You can go for your resets, you can go for anything you want, and it's it's really, really cool how we can do that. I think that's super, super powerful. You've got to make sure you do it. And um, now time for the most important combo to make sure you have in your arsenal. Not only does this combo deal a crap ton of physical damage, it will also deal an immense amount of mental damage on your opponent. The amount of disrespect exuding from this combo is astronomical. Anyways, that is about all I have to say for combos with Zenitsu. He's got combos that he can do, he's got utility combos, and that's about all you need. When you get as many hits as you do with Zenitsu, all you need is a little bit of utility, build your meter back, and you'll be all good. And having that extra really juicy thing where you can combo off of your boost is just icing on the cake. He's a really fun character, I recommend you try him out, and I hope you enjoyed this combo guide. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! -bye.